Hi there, people. Uberman UK. Right, where we're we up to now, we're getting our taxi license. We're nearly right to the end. We're at the last hurdle of it all. Now it's a medical sat part of it. I'm going to do two vi videos about this. First one is your medical. What you have to do is when you when you pass your knowledge test, you have to go to your council and they'll give you a form like this. You need to take this to the doctor, and it, and it basically it asks the doctor lots of questions. Most of the questions are common sense, like any any um, any diabetic or any problems with your heart, your breathing. It's lots of different questions. And you need to go to your own GP to do this. And the trick is to get an appointment at your GP. Because if you ring up, however you book it, you'll say, could I have a medical, please? And they go, oh, no. Because, end of the day, these these receptionists, after they have a set, set amount of slots, they have to fill each particular day or week. And they have get many people as possible. And they want people who are sick. Not people who just want a medical. You want people who generally are sick. So if you are going for a medical, you'll be put put on the low priority list because it will be at least a 30 minutes appointment, this particular medical, what you need to go to. Because the normal appointments, like if you're poorly, is only 10 minutes. So you need like three in one. So they're very reluctant of giving you this a medical. So the best thing to do is my room ring them every day, any appointments, because at the end of the day, as soon as you've done this medical, as soon as you can start driving taxi and earning some cash for your family, because that's what we're doing it for at the end of the day, for the money. But the receptionists don't understand this. They, they've just got to fill their slots as much as they can, and they'll put you at low priority, because at the end of the day, if you want a doctor, the, the doc, people who want doctors are poorly, generally poorly. So they should get it first, and you'll be put on low priority. Now it does cost, unfortunately. I know we pay national insurance in the UK, but it does cost you some money to actually have a medical. It is round from a hundred pounds to hundred and fifty pounds, up to two hundred. Now the best advice: don't don't go to your private doctor. Go to your own doctor because they want to see your medical history of your whole life you see because some of the questions that the council want to know is all in your history because if you go to a private gp they'll just do the standard medical like for a truck driver or a bus driver they won't go into your history most councils now want to know the whole history of your life so end of the day go to your own doctor who has it all on their computer so they they can examine you and tappy 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 all the information's up on the screen from because they've got like a tick box to do on their questionnaire depending on your councils each councils has its own regulation but i think nearly all councils you have to do some kind of medical test and the next video which i will explain the procedure of a medical this one's just how to get a medical examination um, what it entails to get it and how difficult it is because I've noticed since I've tried to well I'm going to be a taxi driver but to get my license it is like, like for example it is like the Grand National that's what it feels like you start you're off the gates open and you go for it you go and get your license but you've got all these hurdles along the way and each step I have took, there's loads of hurdles I've got to do. It caused me lots of stress and strain. How my wife has put up with me whinging and going on about this. I'll never know. She, I think she deserves a bunch of flowers to put with me, mattering about this. But if you really want to be a taxi driver, or if you really want to do something in your life, you've got to keep going. You've got to be like one of them horses on the Grand National. Keep going. Even, you see it on the Grand National itself where the um, jockey falls off the horse but the horse doesn't give up the jockey right but the horse keeps going that's what we've got to be like just got to keep going keep fighting for it so if you are trying to get a taxi license keep going for it people because the end is in sight especially at this stage your medical this is the easy part isn't it
as long as there's nothing seriously wrong with you or there's a lot of problems in your life with your health you should get a particular license quite quick because as soon as I've got this soon as I go in the doctors and he performs the tests or whatever he needs to do stamps it like that signs it to take it to the town side office and it's done they go there you go easy as that I wish it was that easy to say if you have been following my videos you've been seeing how difficult it actually is to get this flipping license uh, and that's just one step of it because the next step is getting the, my own car and then there's certain procedures what I've got to go through that to, to get that like you've got to get a license for the car hope there's not a few t and I bet there's a few tests involved in that but I'm not going to give up because I've got you guys on my side and following my videos and I do pre appreciate all of you watching these videos it gives me great encouragement it really does because I've said this previously if it wasn't for you guys I would have give up by now thanks very much people Uberman signing out don't give up